our way to grab breakfast. We're walking because it's like a seven minute walk. Also, happy birthday. <laughs> Second breakfast is about to screw with my stomach. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Oh. I don't remember last time I had a donut. There you go. Oh, look at that. Y'all, there's just too much sugar in that thing. I mean, I'm turning 28, babe. This is not where you should be taking me. I think mine's better. Try it. Take a, take, a, take a couple of guesses on where you think we're going. Uh, okay, so we just ate breakfast. I know we're not gonna eat again. Maybe the gum wall? If not that, the fish market, because it's around that area. Mm -hmm. Or it might be like a fun little activity that we're gonna do together. Okay. But I guess we will, we will find see. out together. We will find out. He did this to me on my birthday where I had no idea where we were going. So, we're doing this again. I feel like this should be a tradition. It For should. every birthday, it should every be birthday. like a surprise. Yeah. I'm, I have a sugar rush after those donuts, but I think it was worth it. And we got one of them for free, which was really cool. So. Can we turn right over here? No, we keep straight. Jeez, I'm not gonna lie, it's getting colder and colder. So we're on our way to Pike Place right now. We're gonna take the train because it's a little inexpensive. Dollars. We paid $50 for the Uber yesterday, which was tragic, so. We paid $6, y'all. $6. That's we way better than 50. We have to get a lift back to the airport. No, there's a rail that takes you straight to the airport. From what? A nearby rail that takes you. Why don't we just take our rail to the hotel initially? I didn't know. The airport's not even in like the city. I looked it up. How much is it? I don't know, I don't live here. <laughs> you said I looked it up. To see if it goes there. Okay, you would know the price if you looked it up. No, how would I know that? So you didn't look it up. The price? No, I looked no. up to see if it goes to the airport. I still know how someone halfway researches something. Why would I look up the price? It's obviously cheaper than a lift. No. Behind the scenes. This is the reality of when you travel with someone, you get into a little argument, but we settled it. And we don't argue. I'm still including all of this. Why do you have to show them everything? Let's talk about the space needle. No. I still can't see it right. What the heck is wrong with me, dude? I always like trip up. So, of course, being in Seattle, we had to go to Pike Place Market. I wish we were staying a little longer so we could have purchased some fresh produce, but everything was like really on display from like flowers to fish and produce they even had like smaller artists selling like jewelry and paintings there and of course the gum wall was in the area so we had to see it and 
it was um, really something, kind of gross, but also kind of artsy. Um, but we had some time afterwards and just decided to just grab a bite to eat before we made our way back from our day of tourism. I just got me uh, some fish soup. I'm not feeling too good, I don't know why. I think it's the donut, that's all I had. And I think my stomach is, is not happy about that being the first thing I ate today. It's okay, I'll just have a big appetite for dinner. But we saw the gum wall, which was really interesting. It was nasty but cool at the same time, it was crazy. I wanted to give him his birthday gift, which isn't a lot. I didn't get you a lot, don't worry. But I wanted to get it on camera. I didn't want it to be expensive, so. It's not, it's not. We are planning a wedding and we're moving soon, so I think we're both under the impression that we are more about sentimental gifts, which is why I threw him a party. It's like, party, small gift, take you out to dinner tonight. I feel like that's like a good birthday. Dude, amazing. Yeah, okay, so, happy birthday. Thank you so much. I'm so tired. I know. All right, let's start off with the card. Uh, you start off with the card first. Really? Okay. All right. Let's start off with the card. You don't have to read it. Why? I mean, out loud. No, I think they want me to read it. They want me to read it. I'll read it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what she says. Hopefully, I don't cry. Every time you write me letters, I cry. Have you noticed uh, that? I'm sorry. You do? Yeah. Oh shoot, I've been wanting to read this book. <laughs> Alright. Timothy Keller, the meaning is, of marriage. This is a so, hand me down. This is a hand It is. Down. You, I can already you, you have all my highlights. I can, I can already tell because I see her coffee stain on it. She finished it. And now it's my turn to read it. Yeah. If you're looking to get married, we highly advise you to get premarital counseling. And read a lot of books. Like they say, you don't want to build, you don't want to spend time planning for, planning for your wedding and not for and less marriage. time planning for your marriage. It's a I really shirt. hope it fits you. I really hope it fits you. I hope you like it. It's a shirt. I hope it's a small. I got it from Black and Brown. Huh? Yeah. When? I walked, and I got it for you. Oh, dude! Thank you so much. And I get to wear it tonight, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I've been like, since we got here, I literally I was like, we need to go out and shop. And she was like very passive about it. She's like, no, it's okay. We could go later. Little did I know. To be honest with you, I forgot about me getting you that as a gift. Really? Yeah. The collar's different. Yeah, it's huge. Since being off of social media, I feel like we've really been able to enjoy this trip a lot more. Uh, we were just saying this to our friends on FaceTime, but like we've taken pictures, we've gone out to like lunch and done things that we would have maybe posted online on our stories and we kind of have to enjoy the moment with each other before um, sharing it with others, which has been really nice. So I don't think I'm going to get on until end of February, maybe like right before we go to San Diego for when we tour the venue in March. So that's a little life update. It's 6.42. The restaurant that we're going to is Di Fiora. So our reservation's at seven, it's 6.40. Takes eight minutes to get there. Gonna head out soon. Um, I'll check in with you guys whenever we get to the restaurant. So we had dinner reservations at Di Fiora, which was this Thai restaurant and they had like these faux flowers decorated everywhere. It was a cute little vibe, very romantic. We split an appetizer together, the spring rolls of course, and I got some vegetable curry and Moni got like a chicken dish. It was a nice little birthday celebration. He got some cheesecake, his favorite. If you know from his birthday video, you know that's his fave. And yeah, it was just a very sweet little dinner between the two of us. Let's go grab some coffee.
So we ended up having kind of a late brunch at the London Plain and I made the reservation per one of my friends who raved about their breakfast. I started out with just some drip coffee and a side of oat milk and Moni and I split the focaccia bread that came with like this yogurt dipping sauce and he got the green eggs and ham which was like a fun play on words for that Dr. Seuss book that I think we all read when we were in grade school and I got the quinoa bowl with some veggies on top. It was a cute place overall. I thought that it actually did give off some like cool London vibes so I would definitely go back if I was in Seattle again. We are heading to the Coca Museum. It's like a, what is it? Museum of Modern Art or something like that here in Seattle and we're just walking right now. Um, it's like a five minute walk from the restaurant. And I think we should go right right here. Okay. So we quickly went over to the Coca Museum, which was more of like a smaller art gallery, but it was still pretty cool overall. It featured some smaller artists and then decided to walk over to the Ferris wheel, which it was pretty cloudy on this day, but I've noticed that regardless of the weather, it's still really pretty in Seattle. All right, we're getting in it. I'm scared, this is swinging. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, this is insane. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, dude. It just sucks how it's over the water, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared though. Uh, that's why they took out the vlog camera to like as a distraction. So, God, I'm like trying not to freak out on this thing. Babe, just, just turn it off. Bye guys. <laughs> She's gotta face her fears. So one thing we were talking about um, is the fact that humans are super, super, super tiny. And we were just admiring God and how he could be really great, but also be really close to us. Yeah, like there are so many people on earth yet. He cares so deeply about each and every single one of us. When you look up top of this wheel, you just see ants on the ground or what it seems to be ants, but they're human beings. And the fact that like God is up in heaven and so distant, like heaven is so distant from earth. Yeah. Yet he cares about each and every single one of those tiny human beings yeah. on the ground. Um, it's like, uh, kind of like a perspective thing, you know? And it's almost irrelevant to, or what would seem irrelevant to a God that's so high above, because it's like they're up here and yeah. you're down here. So yeah. it's like, why would a God ever even care about? You know, it's so crazy. This, uh, this goes back to what we were reading this morning about book, the holier than that book, mm -hmm. how God's like super sovereign, ruling over everything. Yeah. And so just because we see things in our perspective doesn't mean it's right according to God. Yeah. And that's what I see now. It's like, does my perspective even matter? Like I walk on earth and God's looking at me. For sure. You know? We're not saying we're gods just because we're up here, but like, <laughs> it's like. Oh, we're getting off the wheel though. wanted to check in. I took a shower, watched a movie, and now we're just gonna get ready for dinner. I'm watching a YouTube video, Brooke Michio. Really love her vlogs. Um, so I thought I would just update you guys on what has been going on since. Not much, actually. It's 7.30, we didn't end up going to Cary Park. After we went to the Ferris wheel and went to Indie Chocolate, we decided that once it just take it slow since we are leaving tomorrow. We ended up getting a dinner reservation at the place right by the Amazon hub. 
and the place looked really cute. We just walked by it and there was someone outside setting up. So I asked him if they had any tables available. It's called Will Mont's Ghost, which is pretty interesting. I think we're gonna walk there. So I'm gonna try and dress up a little warm. So that's the plan. I'm gonna watch this YouTube video, get ready. Okay. I have been trying to grow up my brows for the past month now, so that's why they look a little outrageous, but I just filled them in and now I'm applying a brow gel. I go back and forth between using my fingers to blend versus a brush. I find that my fingers are a little bit more natural than a brush because it really like melts into my skin. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I just wanted to check in before we head to dinner. For dinner, we walked over to Wilmot's Ghost, which was probably my favorite meal in Seattle. Probably my favorite meal I've had in a really long time. It was located in those little Amazon Spears, and we both ordered the vegetarian lasagna, which was to die for. And the tiramisu was so rich and fluffy, like I'm still kind of thinking about it. And it was one of my favorites of the trip. We will 100% be back. Okay guys, oops. I wanted to close out the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have some fun content coming up as um, we're getting ready for the move. We actually just bought a couch today. So that's very exciting. Lots of fun things ahead. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.